Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review. I just looked at the market here. It is about 6.15 Eastern Time, and I wanted to do a video because I just looked at this here, and I said, geez, you know, the, mar the market's going to fly tomorrow. The market is going to fly, 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 fly. The market is going to fly tomorrow. It is going to have a huge day. Actually, today we fell, and I said we're, I said we're not going anywhere. I said, we're not going anywhere. I said that today. We were red. I said, we're still not going anywhere. I just knew we weren't going anywhere. We were completely red today. At one point, we were all the way down here, and I just ignored it. I was, like, so confident that the market was going to hold today that, and actually, we closed and flipped and closed green. But I was, like, we were completely red. We fell all morning, and I kept saying, this isn't going anywhere. It's holding. I just have such a great instinct. Oh my goodness. So we gapped down today and I knew the people would look at this bearish and we did gap down today and we did run right into the morning into I think about 10 o'clock, 10 15 ish, 10 30 we ran into. Even broke the low a bunch of times, but I knew we were gonna hold and we did. We we did, we held, we closed strong. That low of the day was set. Looks like between 10 30, 10 45, we bounced, closed strong. Market is gonna fly tomorrow. Higher. Okay. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Target for tomorrow, and we're going to get, first of all, we're going to either be neutral or get up tomorrow morning. I can't even, we, we can even gap down and we're going to run, just like we did today. The, the, the target for the market, I'm just going to say, not knowing exactly where we're going to gap, is 206. Even, even 208 could happen tomorrow. The market is going to fly and have a huge bullish day tomorrow. It's almost like it's going to do it no matter how it gaps, actually. So, I mean, I'll see it, be, I'll be able to see it better in the gap tomorrow morning. But I just sat here and looked at this, and the first thing I said, oh, my Lanta. The first thing I thought was, oh, my gosh, the market's going to fly tomorrow. Higher. And this sounds crazy, but we can even hit up over 208 by the end of the week. We can even make a new high in the spine. Not, not this guy over here. Not this little person. Well, not little person, this big person. Not this uh, tail that went all the way up here to 213. The market could make a new high from this level before the end of the calendar week this week, which last week I said I thought the market was going to make a new high this week, and actually it's setting up that it could still do it, even though actually tomorrow is Wednesday. There's only more, three more days left in the week, and this is how power money comes in. It comes in, and it comes in like a force. market's going to fly tomorrow, and we could hit up over not this bar here, but this area here before the end of the calendar week this week and three more trading days. I did not look at the economic calendar off the top of my head, I don't know what's out tomorrow or Thursday or Friday. I don't even think the market needs an impetus to do it, actually. I don't even, it, it doesn't even matter. It, it, no matter even what reports come out, I'm seeing it here. The market's going to fly tomorrow, okay? And there's a huge chance the market could get over 208, 209 by the end of the week. Because the market's going to fly tomorrow. And actually, the market could rally all the way up through 206 tomorrow. 206 is a reasonable target tomorrow for the market. 208 is a dream target tomorrow for the market. And if we get to 206 tomorrow on Wednesday, there's two more days left and above that to see how we could get up over 208. Beautiful area. And actually, when I taught the class over the weekend, we did talk about the market. And I was pointing out some things as I was teaching a class, going back and forth, looking at live charts. And I said, you know, this 200 frame moving average is going to move closer to this area by the time next week sets up. And that has transpired for just in the two days. So whew, this market is really... It's going to fly tomorrow. This is for, the first thing that came, as soon as I saw the chart, I just looked at it now. I just looked at it right now. I wanted to look at Apple, and I looked quick at Apple, and then I looked at this, and I thought, oh, oh. the first thing that came to my brain was the market is going to be so bullish tomorrow. So, And everybody will be back to normal, back at their jobs, back at their desks after the weather in the last two days. So people are going to be ready to trade and ready to go and ready to make money. And really, this area here of congestion in the SPY that we did not completely 100% get through, which is around 206, 206, 50. So, you know, this is the area. But once we get up and through that, it's just going to fly. And I don't know if we get up and through that 206, 50 tomorrow, but we could because I don't even know where we open tomorrow. I mean, who knows where we even gap up tomorrow morning and open. So I really see no possible setup for anything tomorrow red. I said that this morning. I said that this morning. In fact, people kept writing in the room the market was falling. I, I almost like ignored every comment. 
I like I talked about it a little bit, but I really, I really was like not paying any attention to it. I didn't even care because I knew we we're going to hold. Like that's how much I, I didn't even like feel like I needed to even double check or triple check or even pay attention to anything anyone was saying when they were talking about the fact the market was red or, I just, I just knew the market would hold. I just, I just knew it. And it did. And it did. It even closed bullishly. I didn't knew it would hold. I didn't, I didn't even know how bullish we would close like this. I didn't even say we closed like as strong as we did, but we did. And, uh, but I knew that we would hold and we did. So I was just like completely like ignoring all the comments in the room today about the fact the market was falling because I just knew it had no weight at all. The gap had no weight at all. And I knew it would hold. And it did. So once again, the SPY is setting up to have a beautiful bullish day tomorrow on Wednesday. Plenty of time for it to get up over that next area this week. 206 is a realistic target for the market. All the people that are short this market thinking it was breaking. Why? Why did they think it was breaking? Because the market had a bunch of gap downs, a bunch of red days, a bunch of series of lower highs and lower lows, but that is not the correct way to read price action. I have something so special. It's like the most special thing on the planet, actually, that I do. The fact that I'm able to read this so well and see this and call impossible calls like today. Like today, I knew the market would hold today. And people were shorting the market today. And, and, I, and I can't blame them. The market, I can't even blame people that would, you know, look at this today. They just don't know what I know. But the market did gap down today, did break through this area, did gap down today, did fall rent, did fall rent past 10 o'clock, did break any lows several times, and did do a series of lower highs and lower lows. I get it. But I know what people are looking at over there, and it's the wrong information to give you the full-on picture here. It's the full-on picture that you need, which is could only be found in one thing, a correct understanding a price action, which again can only be found by doing one thing, understanding and having a proper analysis of gaps and what I term golden gaps. They are gaps that really determine what something is going to do. And I did not rate the bearish gap here in the market this morning. I did not do that. If I had, it, I'm sure that it wouldn't have rated well. I didn't even need to rate it to know. I'm sure that it wouldn't have. Okay. And I'm not saying we aggressively set up out of the gate long tomorrow because I don't know where we're going to open in the gap or even if we're going to gap down up or neutral. Okay. But I'm saying that tomorrow will be a bullish day in the market. I have 100% conviction. And I have so much conviction in that that it doesn't even matter where the market opens in the gap unless it does something crazy, which I don't think it's going to do. Like the market isn't going to do something crazy and gap up tonight to 210 or gap down to something crazy either. Market will be normal in the gap, probably between 203.50 and 205-ish probably, somewhere in a range, and that's a big range. You just wait and play it on the day. But there's people that are short this market, equity shorts and options and all kinds of things, or people that just sold. Sold out of stuff and really, I don't know why, market never did anything wrong in here. Uh, just because you have a couple red days does not make a downtrend. And this market is it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And once again, this target for the SPY in 2015 is 300. 300, and there could even be another number I don't even see yet. I'm just, I'm just, all I can say is what I see right now. What I see right now is that the SPY will go to 300 this year, and I see right now that it's going to have a big bullish year, and I see we're going to have a bullish day tomorrow. And as I see things, I'll just keep talking about them in the videos. And uh, really just beautiful. I'm thinking about doing something I'm probably going to do soon, which will be like a membership for people to get some of my videos specifically with calls, like ahead of time to be able to take trades in them if they want. This would be for overnights. I'm working on that, something new, uh, which will be exciting. Just for the calls, not for really teaching anything for the classes, because the classes is something you got to be one-on-one -on -one with me to learn it because I do the classes live, even though it's online. And the next Golden Gap class is February 7th and 8th. And I'm running a special through tomorrow. You get one month free in the trading room and the wealth manifestation class free if you sign up for the Golden Gap class by tomorrow, which is January 28th. So that's a good deal because you could be in the room the entire month of February and take the wealth manifestation class, which is a great course. It doesn't talk at all about charts. It's a trading psychology course, which teaches you the mindset that you need in order to be successful to make money trading and to manifest wealth in your life. And certainly the market is going to give a lot of opportunity for that this, this coming year. I mean, it's like 
so exciting I can't even say it. It's like I can't even, words cannot describe the excitement I feel for what the market's going to do this year and for the fact that I'm, I'm excited for myself that I even can see it. I'm so excited for myself that I even can see it ahead of time so far in advance it's going to happen this year to not only take advantage of it myself but for the people that are trading with me and, and the people that come to learn from me. I'm, I'm excited that I have the ability to even know this or see these things to share it with the world, with the people that listen to my videos or the people that come take my classes. I'm I'm so grateful and excited that I have the knowledge. I have that I'm able to see these things like I saw, like like the market this morning, which wasn't going anywhere. And I'm sure this is part of the reason it's closed so strong. People shorted this market today. That's part of the reason it's closed like this. Okay. And rally, 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 rally. Okay. Because people were short this market today. And it closed very, very strong. I mean, do you see here that the market could have just fallen off a planet if it wanted to today? And, and it didn't. But it could have. The market could have fallen off a planet today. It actually broke 202. Not that it matters. But I'm just saying the market really could have, if it wanted to, if it was weak, which it's not, and I've been saying that for a year or more, the market could have fallen off a planet today. See, this is, the, this is why I'm so, so good at seeing... Uh, what's the word? Well, I'm just really good at seeing money move that I can tell when money is holding something up or strong or when money is really like just wanting to give it up kind of thing and fall. Like I can tell, I can see the people. Like I can see the people before they even make the imprint because of the fact that I'm reading the gaps. But I also can see something like when I saw the market trading this morning, like I just, it wasn't heavy. It wasn't the heaviness, okay? I'm really good at reading weakness and I'm really also good at reading strength, okay? And the thing is, it's not as easy as just saying, oh, the bar is red, therefore it's weak and the bar is green, therefore it's strong. No, 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 no. It's the way that it's acting. Like, and I did say this over here. I said the exact same thing this other week. Because if the market wanted to fall off a planet on this day, it did. And I called the market to hold. I called it long in the room. And it did a sandwich. Same thing here. If the market wanted to fall off a planet today, we actually got down today. Not a lot, but enough. Okay. And we did fall all morning. And we did break the low a couple times and past 10 o'clock. Okay. But, you know, and at one point we had a medium-sized red bar in the market today. Like, here's the 15-minute. Take away all this afternoon. Here was the morning. Let me just actually take away this. Like, that was this morning. The market broke the 200 period moving average in the 15-minute today. I mean, look at the size of this bar. It didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere at all. So the market's strong, and I'm just seeing here that this market is just going to go bonkers tomorrow higher. Be a good day for the market. Uh, and uh, it'll be one of those ones where I'm going to be very particular about what I do, which I always am anyways. Uh, I'm not sure where we gap or open to call it a specific trade in it, but it's going to be a bullish day in the market. And target's 206, and that's realistic. 206, 20650, realistic targets and two eights, a dream target for the market tomorrow if it wants to run. And I wouldn't put it past the realm of possibility for one of these days this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, although it's most likely going to be tomorrow, depending on where we get, that the market has a jimungus megalodon green day. A buying that comes in and flips out the shorts. But it's really going to be buying. It's really going to be mostly buying. And then of course the shorts are going to cover too. So this has gone on for so long now. I mean, this has been going on now. Jeez, you know, look, this has been going on since all of January. And we're at the end of January, all of December. Started a little bit in November, but if people didn't believe in it there, like all of December, all of January. Like, we're going to get up over that like a nonstop action here. That could happen in the next couple of days. And for the last two months, though, last 60 days or more, people have been convinced that this market is not going any higher, but that's so not true. And I've been saying so in all the videos, even in all the red days down and even in all the gap downs and even all the days we're falling red. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great evening, everyone. This is a spy market review.
Again, the next Golden Gap class is February 7th and 8th during earnings season. If you'd like to learn how to trade with me, email me and you can sign up for the course. You have to be a student of the Golden Gap course in order to actually trade with me in the live trading room. Although I do offer trials uh, for a couple of days if you want to come in and see. I think it's really important for people to understand and know how to trade before they trade live or risk any money. And gaps are very specific. Uh, and I just really knew the market would hold today. Just knew it. And then when I looked at this tonight, I said, well, I'm going to do a video here because I know. I just, I see, I just, I, as soon as I looked at this, I said, oh, tomorrow, 206 in the market in the spy. Have a great night, everyone. This is Melissa with the stock, switch.com.